Today's sentence is, Mr. Griffith makes us have at least three resources for our papers, but I have to go to the library tonight, comma. All right, let's look at some possible problems with this sentence. Mr. Griffith makes us have at least three resources. That could stand alone as an independent clause. That could be its own sentence. But let's add for our papers. Mr. Griffith makes us have at least three resources for our papers. Good. That seems to go together well. Now, we have the word but as a coordinating conjunction here. More often than not, there is the necessity for a comma before a coordinating conjunction. It is not always the case. If the sentence is very well balanced and is smooth without it, sometimes we can get by without it. Here, it would likely be best if we kept the comma with the coordinating conjunction. So, for our papers, comma, but I have to go to the library tonight, comma. Well, it's an easy catch to realize that the comma that is ending the sentence needs to be a period. Good. What else? The one remaining problem appears to be the use of the word but. Here, it does not make sense based on its definition. Let's replace it with therefore. Mr. Griffith makes us have at least three resources for our papers, therefore I have to go to the library tonight. That makes much more sense. Use of the word therefore implies a cause and effect relationship. It is Mr. Griffith's requirement that is causing me to have to go to the library. Good. And that ends this sentence.